Facts First presents… Remember him? This is why he's no longer an actor. The Hollywood industry is competitive. It's difficult to enter Hollywood and it's even more difficult to reserve your spot. You can start off well, but your Hollywood career can go downhill after one show or even one episode. In Hollywood, one wrong move can end your career. You need to play your cards right at all times, and actors have to be extra careful in both their personal and professional lives. No producer wants their movie associated with an actor who has scandals. Many talented actors have built a successful Hollywood career by playing their cards right. However, for these A-plus actors on our list, that wasn't the case. After receiving so much positive feedback for starring in the Spider-Man movies, Tobey Maguire shocked everybody when he suddenly disappeared from the Hollywood scene. Many people thought that he was dead. He hasn't acted since 2012. His most recent project was a narrator role in the animated film Boss Baby. The way Cameron Diaz left Hollywood was sudden and quiet. It's really strange to see an A-list actor like Cameron Diaz completely leave Hollywood behind. She was one of the top-rated actors with successful movies like The Holiday, In Her Shoes, Charlie's Angels, and There's Something About Mary. Diaz had a successful run in Hollywood. She won four Golden Globe Awards. In 2014, she decided to retire from acting so that she could settle down. And of course, that left her fans kind of sad. No one thought Monique's career would go downhill after winning an Oscar for appearing in 2009's Precious. An Oscar is the most prestigious acting award out there. You'd expect an actor who just won an Oscar to get more awards and more roles offered to them. But for Monique, that wasn't the case. She's worked on only four projects after winning her Oscar. Do you remember the famous Jonas Brothers TV show? You might remember that show, but you probably don't remember Kevin Jonas all that much. After all, he was the black sheep of the Jonas Brothers. Kevin Jonas became famous through the Jonas Brothers rock band, after which he started his own reality show called Married to Jonas with his wife Danielle. The reality show, which aired on E!, brought him a bit of success and fame. Instead of playing music or acting, Kevin presently now works in contracting. It's a shame to add Jack Nicholson to our list. Jack Nicholson holds the highest number of Oscar nominations out of all male actors in Hollywood's history. After a career spanning six decades so far, Jack decided to take a break from acting, and he hasn't made a single appearance in a film since 2010. There were rumors that he retired from acting entirely because of experiencing memory loss, but he confirmed that those rumors were not true. Laura Flynn Boyle was very popular in the 90s. She was even nominated for a Primetime Emmy Award for her role in the NBC show Twin Peaks and The Practice. Laura went from taking major roles to taking smaller roles in unimpressive productions. Katherine Heigl has made popular appearances in Grey's Anatomy and the hit comedy Knocked Up. She won an Emmy Award in 2007. Because of a few wrong moves that she made in Hollywood, though, Katherine is not able to maintain her A-list star reputation anymore. Jonah Hill has appeared alongside great names including Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. He's received Oscar nominations for his roles in The Wolf of Wall Street and Moneyball. A few wrong moves, though, led his career to a downfall. Jennifer Love Hewitt has a name anybody can remember. However, not many people remember her acting career. She's famous for her role in the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise. She was one of the most popular stars of the 90s, but she quickly lost her touch and has kind of disappeared from Hollywood. Mike Myers is the voice actor behind the iconic Shrek and Dr. Evil in Austin Powers. He also starred in The Love Guru, which was such an awful movie it ended up destroying his acting career. In Hollywood, it's hard to get on track after a project that bad ruins your reputation. Meg Ryan is a 1990s sweetheart. She was featured in popular romantic comedies including Sleepless in Seattle, When Harry Met Sally, and You've Got Mail. Some of her later projects were failures, though, and they negatively affected her career. Even a Golden Globe Award and an Oscar were not enough for Mira Sorvino to keep her Hollywood career alight. After appearing in Romy and Michelle's high school reunion, Mira's career started declining. Mira filed a harassment claim against the infamous Harvey Weinstein, which is one of the reasons for her troubles. Weinstein blacklisted her from major pictures. 
Wow, talk about women's rights. Ashley Judd is another actor whose career was shut down due to somebody else's wrongdoings. Harvey Weinstein is again to blame. She refused Weinstein's advancements in a hotel room, and as a result, he blacklisted her. Everyone, including men and women, were obsessed with Phoebe Cates at one time. She appeared in big productions including Fast Times at Ridgemont High. After participating in several other roles in the 80s and the early 90s, she completely disappeared from the screen. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, this entry's for you. You definitely remember Jack Gleason. He played King Joffrey in Game of Thrones, and even though he participated in such a giant production, he has not received any acting calls since 2014. Allison Hannigan was featured in one of the greatest hit shows called How I Met Your Mother. However, she hasn't made any major appearances since then. She made several guest appearances, but that's about as far as her acting career is concerned. Sadly, Amanda Bynes had a psychotic breakdown at the peak of her career. The last time she appeared on TV was in 2010 in the hit called Easy. Amanda was a talented child star, but it looks like she was not cut out for Hollywood as an adult. After her 2010 public breakdown, she's been visiting psych wards instead of movie sets. Who doesn't know Eddie Murphy? He's well known for his amazing performances and hit comedies. Murphy is a successful actor, comedian, voice talent, and screenwriter. He is ranked among the top 100 stand-up comedians of all time. He took part in hit movies including Nutty Professor and the Shrek series. However, his 2016 movie called Mr. Church, it was such a disaster it negatively affected his career. Misha Barton's role as Marissa Cooper in The O.C. back in 2003 brought her fame. The paparazzi used to chase her everywhere. However, she's never had another successful project since then. Nowadays, she has a bad girl reputation and she was even once arrested for drunk driving. Freddie Prinze Jr. became famous for his role in the I Know What You Did Last Summer franchise. He also has had many successful voiceover projects, including hits like Star Wars Rebels, Shark Bait, and Kim Possible. Sadly, he had a negative experience on the set of 24 and decided to quit acting altogether. Kel Mitchell's appearance in Nickelodeon's All That and Keenan and Kel earned him a lot of fans and recognition. In 2003, Kel lost his spot on Saturday Night Live to his former co-star Keenan Thompson, and that led to a decline in his career. An appearance in Top Gun propelled Kelly McGillis to fame. However, she's an example of how Hollywood can scare away some actors. She had a negative experience when filming the 1989 film Cat Chaser, and that killed her Hollywood dreams. Lily Sobieski seemed to be heading towards a successful acting career after her amazing performance in the blockbuster drama called Deep Impact. The 1998 film brought her recognition and fame, but it didn't manage to secure her a spot in Hollywood. Nikki Blonsky looked like the big next thing in Hollywood. Her role as Tracy Turnblad in the 2007 movie adaptation of Hairspray was amazing. She got the chance to work with Hollywood A-list actors including Zac Efron, Queen Latifah, and John Travolta. However, she now does something really different than acting. She's a part-time hairstylist and makeup artist. Some blame her short-lived acting career to the fact that Hollywood rejects overweight actors. Paz de la Huerta's starring role in Boardwalk Empire for two seasons set her career on the right path. However, a few wrong turns made her miss out on many acting opportunities. She blames some of her problems on Harvey Weinstein. You probably recognize Jonathan Bennett for his role in Mean Girls. Well, after that film, he completely disappeared. Lately, he is trying to make a comeback. He currently hosts Halloween Wars on the Food Network. Gene Hackman won two Oscar awards. After his 2004 project titled Welcome to Mooseport, he decided to retire from acting. After doing that, he focused on writing, which turned out to be another successful career for him. Jonathan Taylor Thomas was the voice behind Simba in The Lion King, and he also played Randy on the TV show Home Improvement. Jonathan was a popular teenage star in the 90s, but he disappeared from the acting scene quite early and decided to focus on his studies. You will see him once in a while now doing guest appearances. For example, he visited his old dad, Tim Allen, on the TV show Last Man Standing. 
Adrian Grenier seemed to appear in every production of television. His most famous roles were in The Devil Wears Prada and the popular HBO series Entourage. After his last major performance in 2015, though, he hasn't had much success. Sally Field has won numerous film awards, including three Primetime Emmys, two Golden Globes, and two Academy Awards. Her iconic appearances, like Forrest Gump, Mrs. Doubtfire, and Steel Magnolias, were phenomenal. She has her own star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and despite all those accomplishments, she has been off the screen now for a little while. Martin Lawrence was one of the most successful actors of the 90s. He even had his own TV show called Martin. Unfortunately, some legal troubles pushed his career a few steps back. His role as George in Aaron Brockovich gained Aaron Eckhart some wide recognition. Aaron's role in Thank You for Smoking earned him a Golden Globe nomination in 2006. His role in The Dark Knight as Harvey Dent slash Two-Face that propelled his career. After appearing in London Has Fallen, Eckhart has disappeared from the scene for some reason. Gary Dourdan is a CSI legend. He was featured in the very first episode of the show. Sadly, his own criminal activities and money troubles have contributed to his Hollywood downfall. Ronda Rousey was a successful UFC fighter before trying her hand at Hollywood. She was featured in The Expendables 3 and Furious 7. She even hosted Saturday Night Live once. Despite her acting career being on the decline right now, Ronda Rousey can be proud of being the first American woman to win a judo medal in the Olympics. Randy Quaid is well known for his roles in Brokeback Mountain and the National Lampoon Vacation movies. Unfortunately, his acting career suffered greatly after he got himself into a number of legal problems. Despite being beautiful and talented, Carrie Mulligan didn't find much success in Hollywood. Her debut appearance in An Education in 2009 it earned her an Oscar nomination. Over the past few years, though, she hasn't landed any major roles. Remember Magic Mike? You'll probably remember Alex Pettifer as the charismatic blonde boy who starred in the film. However, just like other actors, he made one wrong move and it ruined his career. He got into a feud with Channing Tatum, and that angered the Magic Mike crew. Jesse Eisenberg's breakthrough role was in the comedy-drama film Adventureland. He was also featured in the horror film titled Zombieland. These performances earned him several nominations. He also portrayed Mark Zuckerberg in The Social Network. After starring in that film, he took a break from acting, but he is making a comeback now. Patricia Arquette is an example of an actor who won an Oscar but did not manage to find Hollywood success in the long run. Since winning that Oscar in 2014 for her role in Boyhood, she hasn't landed any major roles. Alison Mack's acting career started with a TV role in Seventh Heaven. She was also featured in Smallville, a performance that earned her several awards. But then she joined the Nexium Cult in 2011, and that move ruined her career and resulted in prison time. Rick Moranis featured in many successful films and shows, including The Flintstones, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, Spaceballs, and Ghostbusters. Sadly, the death of his wife in the early 90s led to a passive decline in his career. But don't worry, he did it for a good reason. He stepped away so he could be a full-time dad. Billy Zane is well known for his villainous role in Titanic. Since then, he has not been very busy. Apart from his role in Zoolander 2, he has appeared only in a few low-profile roles. Andy McDowell's debut Hollywood appearance was in Sex, Lies, and Videotape in 1989. That earned her a Golden Globe nomination. Andy continued featuring in successful productions such as Four Weddings and a Funeral, Green Card, Groundhog Day, but after her career peaked in the 90s, she faced a few bumps on the road. She struggled to find new roles. However, she did successfully venture into modeling. Emilio Estevez comes from a family of famous actors. After his success with The Mighty Ducks, he really hasn't done much acting. He has been directing a couple of TV shows, though, including Cold Case, CSI New York, and The Guardian. You definitely will remember Wesley Snipes for famous hits such as White Men Can't Jump, Wong Fu, Jungle Fever, and The Blade franchise. Sadly, Wesley was imprisoned for three years for tax evasion and that affected his career in a very negative way. 
Sean Connery was the first actor to portray James Bond. He starred in seven Bond movies and won an Academy Award and three Golden Globe Awards. Sean announced his retirement, though, in 2003. Dave Chappelle has been featured in many successful movies, including Con Air, The Nutty Professor, Blue Streak, and You've Got Mail. He started his own TV show titled Chappelle's Show in 2013, and the show had a lot of success, but then he decided to quit the project years later. In 2016, though, he started his comeback with a signed deal with Netflix. Lark Voorhees' role on the ABC sitcom Saved by the Bell made her famous. Sadly, she disappeared from the big screen soon after. Karen Parsons has been hiding from the spotlight for quite some time. The last you might remember of her is the role in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and then she disappeared for almost a decade. Gina Davis became famous for her roles in A League of Their Own, Thelma and Louise, The Accidental Tourists, The Fly, Grey's Anatomy, and Commander-in-Chief. She won both the Golden Globe Award and the Academy Award. Presently, she's focusing on social activism for gender equality. Mara Wilson is one of the most popular child stars of all time. She became famous for her roles in Matilda and Mrs. Doubtfire. In 2000, she quit her acting career in order to live a normal childhood. Remember Macaulay Culkin? Well, he's no longer an actor, much. We all remember him for his iconic role in the Home Alone movies. At 12 years old, he became the most successful child actor of all time. It seems Culkin made some kind of arrangement with his father, though, after which he chose to stay out of the spotlight. After Renee Zellweger's appearance in Bridget Jones' Diary and her role in Chicago, Renee became one of the most popular Hollywood actors. Surprisingly, since 2010, she hasn't been seen in any big films. Ariana Richards attained a little fame and success for her role in Jurassic Park as Lexi. She appeared in numerous TV shows, including Boy Meets World and The Golden Girls. Unfortunately, she remained a child star because she did not continue her acting career to adulthood. Now she is an incredible artist, and her drawings of the female form are impeccable. Robert Blake had one of the longest Hollywood careers, until 2001 when he was forced to quit after being accused of murdering his wife. He was eventually acquitted, but since then he has been keeping a low profile. Elizabeth Hurley, or Liz Hurley, she became famous for her roles as Vanessa Kensington in Austin Powers. She also acted as the devil in the film Bedazzled. What made her more popular was going public with her relationship with Hugh Grant. After separating from Hugh, though, she decided to retire and focus on raising her son. Do you remember the twin child stars Cole and Dylan Sprouse? They were featured in the Disney show The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. After years of working on the show, they decided to quit acting and pursue degrees at NYU. Deborah Winger was exceptionally popular in the 80s. Her most successful appearances were in Shadowlands, Tears of Endearment, and An Officer and a Gentleman. After years of success in Hollywood, she decided to switch to theater. Josh Saviano played Paul Pfeiffer in the hit TV show Wonder Years. Josh quit acting right after that role. Taylor Momsen became famous for her role as Jenny Humphrey on Gossip Girl. She also was featured in How the Grinch Stole Christmas in 2000. She retired from acting in 2011, though, to focus on her rock band, The Pretty Reckless. And man, does she have a voice! Shelley Duvall is no doubt one of the best actresses of her time. One of her most famous roles was in the horror film The Shining in 1980, where she played Wendy Torrance. She disappeared from the public scene in 2002. Sadly, since then, she's been struggling with mental health issues. Rip Torn won multiple awards and nominations. One of his most famous performances was on The Larry Sanders Show, where he played Artie. He retired from acting in the 2000s after being arrested for breaking into a bank in Lakeville, Connecticut, under the influence of alcohol. Nick Stahl began his acting career as a child. He later was featured in productions like Terminator 3 – Rise of the Machines and Man Without a Face. Unfortunately, substance abuse issues led to the decline of his career. Catherine Zeta-Jones became famous for her appearances in The Mask of Zorro and Entrapment. She even won an Academy Award. 
She decided to take a break from Hollywood after her husband, fellow actor Michael Douglas, was diagnosed with throat cancer. Bridget Fonda is Peter Fonda's daughter. She's known for her roles in Single White Female, It Could Happen to You, The Godfather 3, and Jackie Brown. She retired from acting in 2002 to focus on raising her son Oliver. I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of Chuck Norris. He served in the U.S. Air Force and even competed in many martial arts championships. This Walker, Texas Ranger star is also popular for his roles in Way of the Dragon and Missing in Action 1, 2, and 3. Despite his many talents, he hasn't landed a role since 2005 and doesn't seem interested in doing it. Those who are old enough can remember Doris Day. She was one of the most popular actresses and singers in the 60s. She was featured in so many films. Apart from being an actress, she was a famous and successful musician. She received the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 2011. Glenda Jackson won the Academy Award twice for her films A Touch of Class and Women in Love. She's one of the few actors to win the Triple Crown of Acting. Glenda took a break from acting from 1992 to 2015. Joe Pesci was one of the main villains in the Christmas films Home Alone. Joe had the opportunity to work with director Martin Scorsese on movies like Goodfellas, Casino, and Raging Bull. However, he was not a big fan of public life and fame. He decided to quit acting in 1999 for unknown reasons. Rene Russo appeared in some of the biggest productions of the 90s, including Ransom, Tin Cup, Outbreak, and Line of Fire. She took a break from acting for six years and then returned in 2011. Rumor has it that she took the break because she was struggling with bipolar disorder. Funny man Dana Carvey became famous for his SNL performances. One of his most famous characters was the extremely accurate impression of George W. Bush. He participated in two Wayne's World movies alongside Mike Myers. After undergoing bypass surgery, he decided to move away from Hollywood to focus on his health. The Olsen twins, Ashley and Mary-Kate, started acting only a year after they were born. In 2012, they retired from acting and started a production company that has produced many successful movies, including So Little Time and Passport to Paris. Do you remember Michael Schofling, the guy from Sixteen Candles? You most likely remember his appearance in Wild Hearts Can't Be Broken and Mermaids. Those were his last two performances before he left Hollywood. Recent reports indicate he's currently running a carpentry business in Pennsylvania. Stacey Dash played Cher's best friend in Clueless, and that made her famous in Hollywood. Stacey had a great start, and it looked like she'd enjoy a successful Hollywood career. However, she didn't have much luck. Her acting days ended quite some time ago. Sarah Michelle Gellar won five Teen Choice Awards and a Golden Globe nomination. She was featured in Cruel Intentions and starred in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the TV show. Sarah left acting and decided to start her own business. Matthew Fox earned fame and fortune from his appearance in TV's Lost and Party of Five. However, it's been a while since he was last featured on the screen. His last appearance was 2015. Just like many actors who ruined their careers, he got into trouble with the law. Calista Flockhart was a big deal back in the 90s. She made a name for herself with her iconic performance in Ally McBeal. After that show, she was featured in Brothers and Sisters, after which her career started declining. Presently, she's enjoying being married to Harrison Ford. Lord of the Rings made Dominic Monaghan famous. His popularity increased with his appearances in the TV show Lost. After Lost went off the air, he struggled to find acting roles. He's currently the host of a nature program. Dennis Franz appeared in major TV shows, including NYPD Blue and Hill Street Blues. After NYPD Blue went off the air in 2005, Franz completely retired from acting. During his career, he won four Primetime Emmy Awards, three Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Golden Globe. Ally McGraw became a Hollywood sensation in 1969 after she appeared in Goodbye Columbus. During her career, she won two Golden Globe Awards and an Academy Award nomination. She was voted the top female box office star in the world in 1972. 
She retired in 1997 to focus on new interests, including fighting for animal welfare, designing clothes, and yoga. Subscribe for more!